Hey Siri, mm -hmm? what's the temperature? It's 45 degrees outside. Let's go ride. Welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, if you guys are new here, hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Jess, I make motorcycle related content every single week, and in today's video, we're, we are going back to my P.O. box. <laughs> it's winter, I don't get to go out and ride very often, and when I do, I usually need to get shit done. I know for a fact there is stuff in my P.O. box today, because I've had a few of you subscribers reach out to me and say, hey, I just got a notification that the package finally delivered, blah, blah, blah. I am finally, for the first time, getting to put my brand new Leather Pro saddlebags to work. I don't know how much stuff is gonna be in there, but I bet you these bags can fit it. I hope so. I really hope so, because I don't think I have, uh, I don't think I have any bungee cords with me today. Whoops, but. I was gonna say, uh, in my last video of us on the Dyna, you guys kept mentioning that you, could, actually, ironically, it was the last video of us going to the PO box. You guys kept mentioning that you could hear a whistle and they're like, is that your new helmet? Where's that whistling coming from? And, well, apparently we're not gonna get to the PO box today because somebody wants to go wicked slow. But I don't, I don't know. I, it might be my fairing making that whistling because I know the fairing whistles, but it could very well be the new helmet. It only does it when I'm riding at least like 45 miles an hour and up, which I don't think we're gonna get to do on this trip. So this sucks. As you just heard in the beginning of this video, it is a brisk 45 degrees Fahrenheit today. I don't have any heated gear on. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'll just bite the bullet, put on my snowmobile gloves and layer up a little nice, but I was like, I'm not dealing with the cables. I'm not dealing with the, the you know, the restriction. And I was like, we're not riding too far. Man, I just like, I was in such a good mood to get on the bike and then I gotta get stuck behind a minivan doing 50 miles an hour and I just wanna go fast. I wanna go fast. I just want to go fast, people. Oh, there's a doggy. Look at you, little doggy. In my head, I pretend that the dogs can hear me when I say that to them. Well, this is super boring. I'm incredibly frustrated that I'm going so slow behind somebody that obviously can't read the freaking speed limit signs. So I'm just going to turn my music back on and get to the PO box. So let's go. 12 seconds later. Ooh. That wasn't too bad. My fingertips are getting a little cold, but we're about to the PO box now. So I'm gonna hop off, check on that, and then I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do. I need to go to the grocery store, but I am not taking you guys with me to do that. That's boring. I have been doing really, really great on like, I'm back on hardcore keto, man. I've been doing it for about five days now with like intermittent fasting, exercising, and counting my carbohydrates. And I've lost about uh, what is it, like five, five and a half pounds? Do, 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 do. I always take the parking spot closest to the handicap. I don't know why, I'm a terrible human. Let's go see what we got. I'm not leaving you out here. Right, 114, 114. See? Told you we got some stuff. Looking good, I can fit these in the saddlebags for sure. Now, locker A. Uh, oh. I know what these are. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna crack these open right now and try them out. I think. I actually don't even know if I'm gonna need my knife for this. Oh yeah, baby. <gasps> Got them new lined gauntlet gloves from Odin. And it looks like they sent me these too. Got some stickers. If you guys don't know of Odin MFG, like link down in the description, these dudes make the best gloves. Oh my God, these are so soft. 
I actually had a pair similar to this for my ride down to Florida, but I don't have these ones with, you can flip out the thumb and finger and they're not vented. So this is like perfect for winter. Oh, I'm so excited. But these are the bad boys I have been really excited for. Try them on. Oh yes, there's an actual zipper to open. Oh, I'm already like in love. Yo. No way, these even have the finger pocket holes too. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, they feel so good. Okay, I got these in a size women's medium large. Dude, these fit perfect. Oh yeah, let's go ride. Huge shout out to Odin for sending me these. I was definitely a little... <laughs> <laughs> petty baby on Instagram. I saw them launch these on their Instagram story. I immediately direct messaged them and I was like, yo, those are hot looking gauntlet gloves. And they were like, well, let's get you a pair. Don't be shy or don't be cocky or so. I was totally cocky. But I told them, I was like, I, no, it's okay, really. My hang up with gauntlet gloves is, dude, they, they never fit over my jacket. And they explained to me like the features that these gloves had. And sure enough, as you can see, they fit perfectly over my jacket. Dude, <laughs> I'm like so happy to have a pair of gauntlet gloves that actually are functional gauntlets. Now I'm not gonna be catching like bees up my sleeves anymore. I'm a poet and didn't know it. These, I mean like all of my opinions on these gloves are gonna be 100% non-solicited. Like they sent these to me, they didn't pay me to say anything. Um, so this is like a 100% initial reaction and I'm like god they're so sexy I love all black gear you guys know that about me so yay my PO box is finally working again not that it wasn't working before it's just like it, the, when I made that video about my PO box being empty it was around the holidays and I think they were just really overwhelmed so things weren't getting delivered I can't stop looking at them I kind of like I wish the the like logo I almost called it an insignia like who am I from the Fire Nation. I almost wish the logo was on the inside so I could look at it, because this is like hot girl shit. I love these. I can whip my little thumb out and take a picture. <laughs> uh, okay, now can I put my thumb back in? There we go, I got it. That wasn't too bad. Oh, hello. That's like one of my favorite games to play, especially in the summertime. I'll be at a restaurant, like, I don't know, sitting on a patio somewhere, having a beer with my friends, and I just hear like, random exhausts in the distance. I'm like, that was a Mustang. That was a racer. That's a motorcycle. <laughs> one of my favorite games to play. In Ohio, it's literally one of those three things. You either drive a Civic, a Mustang, a truck, or a motorcycle. Oh man, you guys, we're doing it slowly but surely. We are making it through winter. At least I am up here slowly but surely. I have my good days and my bad days. And I'm gonna tell you what, fixing my diet and like exercising regularly has been good good for me. So it is 45 degrees Fahrenheit right now and these gloves, I can already feel my fingers getting cold, but they're, I mean like they're non-vented, they're real leather, nice stitching and stuff. Oh, these fit amazing, dude. I literally have such a hard time finding gloves that fit my hands. These fit so good, but on colder days I can definitely use some glove liners. Just help add a little bit of insulation. There's that whistle. Okay. I think it's the Rurock. I think it's the helmet, you guys. And I cannot guarantee where it's coming from, but I have a feeling it's coming from one of my vents that I have vent plugs for. Sorry, I'm like totally not even focusing on what the heck I'm talking about because I'm focusing on braking. But yeah, I have vent plugs for this helmet that I keep needing to put in because it is, this helmet is so lightweight, so comfortable but very drafty. And I think that's part of the reason why they keep this helmet so lightweight and a lot of the reason why you see people in really warm climates wearing this helmet. The airflow is fantastic. I feel it mostly on my forehead. So I think it's this upper vent right here that's probably making that whistling noise. Cause I just, I don't, I don't know. It's all throughout my head now, but I got a fun quick rip in. I got to go to the PO box. I got some errands done. I got some new goodies got some new gloves. So let's go ahead and head back to the house and see what else we got in the P.O. box. See you there. Chill. 
Chili. Let's see what we got in the P.O. box. First up, I got a package from Victor. Drone Livingston. Dude, the last time I got um, a CD from one of you subscribers, I loved it. Oh my gosh, we were listening to it all night out on the patio. It was such a good time. Thanks, Victor. I can't wait to take a listen. Next one. Oh, I don't know who it's from, but I saw your message. I'm so sorry. I can't. I'm, I'm literally the worst with names. I know you messaged me and said that you didn't see any guardian bells on my bike or Jordan's bike. Jordan's bike, his sporty, actually does have a bell on it. Um, you're absolutely right. You do not see a bell on my motorcycle, and I'll get into that here in a second. Woo! But you did tell me that one is for me and one is for Jordan, and I will know which one is which. So I have a feeling this one's probably for Jordan. It just looks like an eagle in a wheel. That's so cool. These things make the prettiest sounds. Okay, so this one must be for me. Okay, okay. Yeah, this one's definitely for me. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But it's a boxer. That is so sweet, Oh. Okay, so the story of why I do not have a guardian bell on my motorcycle is for the exact same reason that you would think I would have a guardian bell on my motorcycle. It's because I'm superstitious. And um, this bike has been with me for three years. We're going on three years together and she has been nothing but amazing. Like, yeah, we've had our hiccups. She's had her breakdowns and stuff, but that's all to be expected when you're a motorcyclist. She's never put me in a situation that I couldn't get us like both out of. And she's been so good to me. We've traveled so far together and honestly, it's kind of like a don't fix it if it ain't broken kind of thing. So I kind of refuse to put a guardian bell on this motorcycle because I don't want to jinx myself, if that makes any sense. <laughs> For every single one of you who has sent me a guardian bell, for every single person in my real life who has sent me a guardian bell, I keep them. I keep them all. I think they are the most beautiful, heartfelt gifts that you can give any motorcyclist. And I actually want to do something with them all, like make um, a work of art or I don't know. If you have any ideas or if you've seen any other people make artwork out of guardian bells, let me know because I think it would be so cool. I, they seriously make the most beautiful sound. I love the sound of bells. That's our trip to the P.O. Box, guys. I hope you enjoyed this ride with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, I'm doing everything I possibly can to keep sane this winter, so the fact that it's sunny outside today is win-win. If you have not done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. We're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh, so close. It's insane. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until the next one, you be good, and I will see you later. Oh,